Hi everybody, I thought that I would start filming um, my makeup collection in segments. I don't really have that much. I mean, I have a lot for the average person, but to me, <laughs> it's not really that much. Uh, these are my Alex 9 drawers, uh, the ever so loved and popular Alex 9 drawers. I have two sets of them. Uh, the ones on the left here hold my makeup. The right set hold pretty much just random stuff. Aside from this drawer, which has my skincare um, and tools and that types of thing. I have, this is like a mini hair straightener, some lashes here, some hair stuff, makeup remover wipes, masks, um, Olay strips, white strips, things like that. This holds like um, eyelash curlers, uh, tweezers, things like that. I have backup business cards back there, shadow shields, um, hair clips, my mixing palette, as well as a mirror underneath there. Ignore my nails, they're really busted right now and they have moisture spots on them. I know it looks gross, so I'm sorry. And then the only other thing I have in this side that has is makeup related really is this drawer which I keep like really cute boxes, uh, unicartons. I hope that eventually like when Jared and I buy a house or whatever, I will have like an actual makeup studio. Um, and I, I would like to do something with this, these boxes, like some sort of project or, I don't know. I just keep them because they're pretty for now anyway. So, so that is the right side. And then Okay, so the bottom two drawers have my palettes in them. This first drawer has the majority of my palettes. Uh, we will try and do this in an organized way. I tried to keep all the brands together, but we'll see how successful I was or wasn't. So, first one that I have over here, tucked down in, is the one and only Sugar Pill palette that I have. Um, it was limited edition, and I couldn't pass it up, because seriously, look how freaking cute it is. If I can get it open. It's the Little Twin Stars palette. So freaking cute. I have this pretty vulgar palette. This I got in a boxy charm. So here's that. So next we have the Mayron, uh, Mayron palette. Um, this is just a water activated face paint palette that I bought whenever I was in makeup school. Uh, it's uh, Mayron is a fantastic brand. And they also have regular face makeup, not just face paint. Next are my ColourPop palettes. If you know me, you know ColourPop is my absolute favorite brand. This is my Disney D Designer Collection palette. And honestly, the pictures of this palette online, in my opinion, really don't do it justice. I think it is so pretty. Next ColourPop palette that I have is the Element of Surprise. Jared bought me this for Christmas in 2017. This is a really, really pretty palette. This shade right here is so gorgeous. It has a really pretty shift to it. Next palette is the Femme Rosa palette. This is apparently a color, or I'm sorry, not a color, a YouTube collaboration that I didn't even know that when I purchased the palette. This was the first color palette pop, color pop palette that I purchased. I'm thinking about doing a just a solely um, ColourPop related video because I have so many ColourPop products. If that's something that anyone wants to see, feel free to comment. Next ColourPop palette is the Dream Street palette. I also very much love Kathleen Lights and this palette is just absolutely stunning. I had to have it. Um, the last ColourPop palette that I have is the My Little Pony palette. Had to get it. Look at it, it's adorable. So next we have Pure Cosmetics. The pigmentation and the quality is wonderful. Um, and I would absolutely purchase from them myself. So really, really, really soft and buttery. 
easy to blend. This is a really nice, like, neutral palette. Next is the BoxyCharm Pure Palette. And this is, I think, was curated specifically for BoxyCharm. This one is really pretty, too. This is the Midnight Masquerade Palette. And this also has uh, face makeup in it. So you get three blushes and then a highlight. And then you get six eyeshadows. Look at that pink blush. Ooh. So pretty. This is by Winky Lux. And this one is called the Kitten Palette. And it has little kitties on it. It's super cute. And I actually really love this palette. The quality is fantastic. And I'm obsessed with this shadow right here. Actually, and this pink one. There's the pink. And then there's the... My Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighting palettes, I'll say. Because I have other palettes that are elsewhere in here. Um, so this one is the Aurora palette. It is not really an everyday highlighting palette, but I really wanted it. This one is my absolute favorite um, Anastasia highlighting palette of all time. This is the Nicole Guerrero Glow Palette. And these, this was limited edition, and I normally miss out on limited edition things. I am not quick enough, or let's face it, I don't have the extra money lying around to purchase whenever I want. So a lot of times I miss out on things like this, but this time I made sure to get this because I absolutely love her. So this one is Kitty Cat, Forever Young, and Daydream. Uh, next is this um, NYX Butt Naked Turn the Other Cheek palette. I purchased this because I wanted something that would give me more options in my makeup kit. This is a Tarte palette that I actually just got in my most recent BoxyCharm. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. These are very neutral palettes. Next we have one of my absolute favorite palettes. This is a go-to staple in my makeup collection. This is probably one of my favorite palettes that I own. This is the Urban Decay Electric palette. It's not your average everyday palette for sure. Some of these will stain your eyes. You have to be careful. Some of them are pressed pigments which means that they definitely will stain your eyes. But and they're probably going to stay in the back of my hand, too. But for the sake of the video. All right, next is the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. I really don't reach for this palette very much, to be honest. It's kind of, I don't know. I got it on sale. And they're really pretty to, like, go over top of other eyeshadows. But by itself, it's not really something that I reach for. I will swatch some of these suckers. So we have granite and then we have specter and then we have element. So they're pretty sheer glitters to be honest. They're nothing like to write home about. Last Urban Decay, I'm sorry I lied. This is the second to last Urban Decay palette in here but this is an old one. <laughs> It's super old. I think I bought it, like, when I first discovered Sephora was when I went to New York City for dance camp. And I would, every every year when I would go, or any time I would go to New York City, I would make a special trip to New York to purchase something with my own money of Urban Decay. Because that was my favorite brand back in the day. So this is something that I purchased by myself. Um, my other Urban Decay palette is in the back here, so I'll get to that in a minute. But next I have... A Wolf Face Art and Effects palette. This is all face paints. And these palettes are all just concealer. Uh, these are palettes that I keep in my kit. These are all Coastal Scents, BH Cosmetics, or Ben Nye. Uh, this Ben Nye one is really cool because it also has the removable pan. These pans pop in and out. I'm not, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to mess anything up. But the, the pans do pop in and out. This one broke a little bit. But you can order replacements, which is fantastic. Uh, next, I have this Kat Von D Interstellar palette. This is old as the dang hills. It's old. This, this 
is the bronzer and it's completely empty. I've completely hit pan the whole way around except for like in the corners there you can see. I know there are a lot of people that don't like Kat Von D. I don't really, I think she should vaccinate her kids but I don't know the girl and I have no problems with her. So makeup is makeup and I like her brand. Uh, next I have three Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. This is the Prism palette that Jared bought me for Christmas in 2017 and he was so sweet and slaved over it and went to two different Ulta stores and bought the very last one. It is so pretty. Next is the Holy Grail 100% everyone should own this palette. If you're gonna invest in a good palette a quality palette that your your spent your harder your hard earned money will go to use. Modern Renaissance is the palette to buy. <clears throat> it is very well loved, very well used. I have hit pan on pretty much all of the transition shades. Transitions shades. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. The perfect palette. It's just perfect. If you're going to buy a palette, buy this one. Next is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. This one, there's a lot of controversy about it um, because the shadows are not the quality of the Modern Ren palette. Um, if you have the patience to work with it, and they, they're selling it at TJ Maxx, girl, so go get it at a half price. Make it work. This palette. I do not know how to say the brand. I'm sorry, but I got this in my boxy charm. This palette is gorgeous. Seriously, it's so pretty. I know it looks just, you know, simple, basic, but this freaking green gold up here is so stunning. Are you ready for this? Oh gosh, look at that. It is like liquid gold on your hand. Next I have two of the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Volt palette. I got Dark Magic and Ring the Alarm. So Dark Magic is the greens. They're very pretty, um, pigmented, buttery, they work well, blend well. I don't have any issues with them. And then I also got Ring the Alarm which was I think the most popular one because it has all the reds and the oranges in there. Everything except that gold is from the two reds and then the yellow gold over there. So that's the Ring the Alarm. Next, I have another palette that I got in whoo, a boxy charm. It's from Ace Be Beauty. I don't know if I'm saying that wrong, but the palette is so pretty, you guys. On this side, I have my Z palettes. These two are empty. Um, these are just my magnetic palettes. This one's empty. This is by Z Palette. I used to have a bunch of shadows in here and I was very ambitious and wrote the names on the back and then I removed them so that was stupid. This one is an Ofra Z Palette that I got in a BoxyCharm. It actually came with a blush that's going to be in the next palette I'm going to show you. So this is my main Z Palette. This is my big one, and this has... This is that Ofra blush that came with the other Z palette. The pink and the orange are by ColourPop. This one, this one, and this one. So the purple up here, the green, and this dusty rose color are Anastasia Beverly Hills. This, 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 this are Makeup Geek. Um, this color right here is probably one of my favorite eyeshadows that I own. It's called a uh, Glass Slipper. It's literally like the perfect Cinderella blue. It's so pretty. And then all the rest of these little pans here are by Urban Decay. They're from like mini palettes that I just depotted the shadows from and got rid of the packaging. Because honestly sometimes the packaging just takes up so much space. But I really want to keep the shadows so here these are from the Urban Decay ones. Next is my Vice palette. Actually, I think this is the Vice 2. I got this for Christmas one year. Next we have the Alice Through Looking Glass Disney Urban Decay palette. 
has these little doors that open and a little butterfly and a mirror there's the mirror and then you pull out this drawer and it has all your shadows uh, then I have the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette love this palette love it nothing bad to say about it great colors great quality great pigmentation soft and buttery blendable love it and then last but not least in this drawer I have this this elf palette that is massive I never use this I think I got this for like super friggin sale at Target um like I'm talking like I paid like four dollars for this palette Kaya uses this when we play makeup because it's a cheaper palette so I let her mess around with this all right so the last drawer has my bigger palettes or palettes that I couldn't fit up in here first we have my very first and only Jeffree Star product that I own which is the alien palette I wanted this palette so badly and my lovely sister Hannah purchased this for me for Christmas I used it for the first time yesterday and I'm obsessed honestly the pigmentation is just fantastic has... so this is space cowboy this is alien this is moon rock this is probe and this is phone home Next, we'll do my Juvia's Pace Place palettes. Jeez, Julie, can't even talk today. First, I have the Warriors palette by Juvia's. These are a really affordable brand. They're sold at Ulta as well as online on their website. Great quality and super affordable. Look at that, man. Mm. I have the Saharan by Juvia's Place. Another very pretty palette. Some lovely mattes in here. I love a good orange eyeshadow. You can't... Look at that pigmentation. So then the last one is my favorite Zulu palette. There's the pigmentation and look at that sucker. So freaking pretty this is my favorite shadow in the whole palette and then we have a gorgeous teal we've got an orange we've got a yellow so let's see here this is the orange um the yellow I'm running out of room this is my favorite color the pink Then we have this teal. So pretty. I need a new makeup wipe. I'm running out of swatching space. Uh, next is this palette by Lunatic Cosmetics that I own purely for the um, kitsch of it just because it's Elvira. I had high hopes for it, but honestly, this palette sucks. The shadows are chalky. A few more palettes that I got from BoxyCharms. This is a Wander Beauty Wondrous Dust to Dawn Blush and Highlighter Palette. Very pretty. Good quality. Everything that I get in my BoxyCharm is pretty fantastic, to be honest. Then I have this Crown Palette, this Glam Metals Palette. Crown is a really great affordable brand with also really great quality. This is a little palette that I got from my mama for Christmas. It's very beautiful. This is called the Sterling Nights Eye Palette. I will show you my two favorite shades are these two shimmers. Here's the two shimmers that I love. Next is this crown palette that I also got in BoxyCharm. Also a really pretty and great quality palette. Okay, next is this Bare Minerals palette. 
um, I got this for free during a co I won a competition for the two weeks that I worked at Ulta before I moved back from California. Um, next is my Makeup Forever Flash Palette. It looks like basic grease paints. Um, but you can use this on lips, you can use this on eyes, you can use this on the face, on the body. If you are a working makeup artist, it's a great thing to have. Next is this Violet Voss palette that I have. Um, this is also a boxy charm. I got this in my boxy Lux. So you don't always get a palette this massive in your boxy charm. Um, this is a boxy Lux, but this is a gorgeous palette. This is my very first Violet Voss palette that I've ever owned. I always want to sh swatch the shimmers, and I never swatch the mattes. Hashtag. Um, on fleek. Toffee, Ploof, and Cool Beans. Next is the Kat Von D Matte and Metal Palette. I love this palette. So if you look this way, it says Metal. If you look this way, it says Matte. And your whole top row here are your shimmer shades, and then your bottom row here are your mattes. I really love this palette. Um, honestly, like, I don't know. I'm just a sucker for a good... Look at that. Look at that silver. The silver is called Tinsel, and it's probably my favorite silver I own. The Mi Vida Loca palette from Kat Von D. I love this packaging. Love it. This is what the back of the packaging looks like. And then when you open it looks like this so freaking pretty last but not least I have the three naked palettes this is the original that they recently just got rid of which is really stupid in my opinion here's the naked two and the naked three So that is my palette collection. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a time lapse of me putting them back together because everybody loves watching. Well, I do anyway. <laughs> so we won't say everybody loves it, but I do. So I'm going to fast forward, speed this up and put all this back. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Let me know if you want to see a ColourPop collection next. If you want to see my lipsticks. If you want to see, you know, my highlighter collection. What you want to see next. And I will see you guys in my next video. Alright, bye.